Hello everyone, Valentine Ose here for Graded Picture Playground. If this is your first time on this channel, hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get notified when new video is uploaded. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to use the Max tool to create certain effects in either balancing colors or lighting in your clip. Let me show you what I mean. Let's bring this clip to our timeline. You can use any clip that you have at your disposal. The idea is just to show you what I am trying to create using the Max tools, especially the pen tool as the case may be. This is a clip on the timeline. Come to your new item and you look for your adjustment layer. Click on the adjustment layer. It will take the timeline setting. Click on OK. Pick your adjustment layer and place it on top of the clip. Now there is nothing happening. So how do we now use our max to make certain correction? Let's take for instance this face. We want to get it corrected by either brightening it up just to make sure that whatever the effect that we are applying affects his face alone. This is what you need to do. This effect is applicable to any kind of clip that you want to work on this effect that i want to create using the max tool is something that would help you out in getting the perfect result so when you select the adjustment layer you come to your opacity and click on the drop down this is what we want to use because the face is round can I create this particular section of his face let's open it up let's take it up a bit then another area that you need to understand is tracking that subject if he's in a situation whereby there is no consistency so let's see by clicking on the track selected marks forward we click and let's see what happened. This is to enable us know that so that if the mass is moving or if the face is not steady, we will be able to know exactly how it is. I may not be able to track the entire face, but manually we can get it done. I just want you to understand what we're trying to say here. So you cannot stop the tracking. Practically, this clip has a relatively stable uh, face so we come to our effects and control you come to your color correction and you look for your lumetri which is here this is it now you are surprised that the max is no longer there what could happen that could be the question that you're asking it didn't go anywhere just click on the max and it will appear so this is your basic in under your lumetric color this effect is not applied on the clip but on the adjustment layer because if you should click on the clip and you max it out the way it is it will give you a different effect entirely so the adjustment layer enables you uh work on that particular session by being able to max it out so whatever the max that you are creating is practically on that adjustment layer but using the footage underneath it as a reference which is what you want to work on which i'm doing now so let's start by coming to this exposure let's say we are popping up the exposure you see immediately i did i pop the exposure up you see everything affected just his face alone that is the essence of using max so if you've not seen the tutorial on how to use the masking tools you can hit the card notification icon at the top right corner of your screen to see the tutorial on how to use the masking tools so this is it i popped it up you see that every effect that is being created affects his face alone we are not doing that let's make this point nine you see that it's not drawing the attention of the audience let's increase the contrast then we come down to the whites we can crush it down or we can 
let's click it up a bit and let's bring down the blacks and let's crush down the shadows this is way awesome because it's now taking the attention of the audience so if we increase the temperature you see how it is now so his face that was looking paled out is now looking relatively okay these are ways that you can make possible color corrections this also involves using the same effects to correct reflections of lightings that are creating hotspot on the wall of your video clip so this is what we're doing so let's say we we want to increase the temperature let's make it 18 that is it if we are boosting up the saturation this is it then the next thing you should have in mind if you if i click off these marks now it will be sharp in its edges you see you just see, notice that you are able to see where the marks passes through so to get such a thing corrected you now see how it works all you do is highlight that same layer then you come to you click on your marks and you come to your max feather you increase it way down so that it becomes softening up if it's chopping up you cannot increase your mass expansion you cannot create it like this let's say 28 by so when you click you see it blends so you don't have hard edges like it is initially the only difference you see here is the face is now brighter on like the neck so these are things you can use your max tools to create certain effects that will affect a particular spot of your subject either the eyes any area at all those are some of the tools subsequent tutorials will be coming on how and many things that you can use the max tools for i hope this tutorial helps if this is your first time on this channel Hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get notified when new video is uploaded. If you like this video, give it a thumb up and share with your friend and encourage them to subscribe to this channel. If you have any question, drop it on the comment section. I will do well to answer you. If I have series of questions on a particular tutorial to be created, I am assuring you that I will create the tutorial as requested by a whole lot of persons on the comment session. See you in our next tutorial. I am Valentine Ose.